Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. This is an introductory pastel drawing exercise. Uh, it works pretty well for an art survey class. In this exercise, as you can tell from the title image, students will draw and shade a sphere and they will use the three primary colors and black for this. Throughout this video, I will throw down this pause card to let you know when it is an, uh, an appropriate time to pause for your students to catch up and it'll also just kind of pace how to go through this lesson with your class. So I always start out by saying that chalk pastels are very messy and they're also expensive. So if you got any nice clothing on, make sure to roll up your sleeves so you don't get that on your clothes. Also, when you are working on this project, make sure you don't drop any pastels on the floor because they'll make a big mess. So for starters, I start slightly to the left and I draw a circle, have all the students draw a circle. This is a six by nine piece of paper. Once they get your circle done, pause. I tell the students, hold up your pastel to show me that you're done so I know you're ready to move on to the next step. Next up, we are gonna shade all the different parts of a sphere. So in this area here, we're gonna note where our highlight is going to be, but then we're gonna go ahead and shade in our core shadow. Once you get your crescent moon shape drawn on there, you can go ahead and fill in that core shadow. I pause here to let all of the students catch up. Actually, next up, slightly less than halfway um, down our sphere. We're gonna draw a line across, a line straight up, and then a line down into the corner. This is gonna set up the corner of our room that we're gonna shade our sphere into. This is where I would pause again to have the students catch up. Now that we have our core shadow on here, we're gonna go in with just our finger. We're gonna use different fingers to shade each color. So this is gonna be my blue finger. I'm gonna start delicately shading in my mid-tones here. I'm working my way towards where my highlight is gonna be. So there's enough dust on here that I can really get in a full range of values as I work my way around. Keeping in mind where my highlight is gonna be, your highlight is going to stay white. This is gonna be pressure sensitive as you're moving it on here. So if you push down too hard, it'll be too dark. You can always add more color, can't take it away. I also noticed back here, I left my area for my reflected light. I'm also gonna shade in that. Your reflected light area is gonna be decently dark, but still not as dark as your core shadow. Once we've got our sphere shaded, I go ahead and tell the students that we are gonna learn how to use the side, um, side shading for each wall. Each wall is gonna be a different wall. Usually what I'll do, I'll demo, I'll do the side, use the side of my pastel and shade this in. Chalk pastel is fantastic for making nice, smooth fields of color. I'll just shade that in smoothly. And I also emphasize if it's a little blotchy, you can always add more pastel. Then we're gonna shade the back yellow. And we're gonna shade the bottom red. Uh, our walls shaded now. Next up is where we're going to mix our different primary colors together. I always talk about how when you got a cast shadow from a sphere, it kind of arches. And I sort of outline where my shadow was gonna go with my three different colors onto the walls and then have it come out from the floor too. I would pause there to let the students get their three colors in. Then I'll go in and blend our <laughs> yellow and blue to make green. I'm gonna use my, I guess I'm gonna use my blue finger. Oh, I should have used my yellow finger for this. It's okay, you can figure it out. And then down here on the red floor, I'm gonna throw in my blue. It's gonna end up a little brown because I got a little yellow on my finger. That's okay. I want this to be a little more purpley. So to get that effect, I'm gonna add a little more red down there. So there you have your shaded sphere with a cast shadow. I like to emphasize on the very end though, um, just to add a little 
central focus to make the emphasis in the middle of our work we're going to add a, just a little bit of black around the edges and we're also going to add some black in our core shadow it doesn't take very much and i kind of i layer a little bit in in the corners of the work and where the corners of the room would be so still keep in mind which finger is which I blend towards the outside first because you want to your outside to be darker and then in a circular motion work to fade that in towards your towards your sphere uh, you can always add more dark if you need to or more black but you can't take it away All right, that's our corner. So we got a little more central emphasis there. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit to my core shadow. And then do my last, I'm gonna be real careful with this one because this is your central focus here. Mix it in. There you have it. It's an introductory pastel lesson. Also, what I do at the very end, whenever I'm done, I tell the students several steps here. Put your pastels back in the container before you wash your hands. Don't wash your hands yet. Put your pastels away, because if you touch them again after you wash your hands, your hands are gonna get dirty. Then wash your hands, dry them with a paper towel. Use your wet paper towel to wipe up any remaining pastel off of the table. And there you have it. Shaded sphere with primary colors and blending to secondary colors. Thanks for watching this video.